Uh, those letters on your cap, they've uh, got to mean something. International transport. Did you want something? I still do. Mr. Steele. Yes? Mr. George Steele. Huh? Mr. Steele, huh? please. I have an urgent message. Thank you. the RIU is, Mr. Steele? Something about international uranium research, isn't it? That's right. Now, we were informed by our friend, Mr. Simpson, of the State Department in Washington, that you'd be passing through here very soon. We've taken the liberty of calling you to make your proposition. I suppose it's something of great importance, like sending me on a mission to the moon. Oh, actually, it is a little nearer than that, Mr. Steele. North Africa. You can help me decide something by your answer. Are you free tonight? Sure. I accept. <laughs> so, you're giving up your vacation. I suppose Tokyo can wait. When you get down there, you will find another one of our agents waiting, who will collaborate with you. Your assistant, in other words. Our German associates insisted on it. We couldn't say no. The name is Bellevan. We'll advise Bellevan of your arrival. You'll be met. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I always stay here when I'm in Rome. And you? I'm gonna call the police. I found a cadaver. You can call from my room. Yes, I was the first to see it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Inspector. George Steele, S-T-E-E-L. We will be right over. What's your name? What's it matter? that Yusef has finally arrived, we will be able to solidify our plans to attack and destroy Venula. And we will replace him. I think it was still abandoned, but behind that mountain there's uranium. And Benula's men keep it under heavy guard day and night. It's quite something inside. No one would think there'd be a laboratory in a fort. An experimental laboratory with all the most modern equipment. This is where the RIU was turned back. Benula took possession of years of research by the RIU. With the reactions on the graph. That's the curse, the black and terrible curse that protects Atlantis. Yes, they might very well be the direct descendants of the people of that race, a race which I, as a scientist, do believe existed many eons past. A beaten, lost people who found safety in those caverns only because of the power of destruction in the material that surrounds them. It is infinitely more powerful than uranium. And for them, it is only a demon. But whoever possesses it shall own power that has no limit.
Solis. I think we should let them stay alive. Very well. You're right. We must find out who they are and how that helicopter managed to locate them. And who sent them here? Uh, I think I can guess. Our chief's daughter wishes to speak to you. great day for us. The daughter of our chief Solus, the man who holds life and death in his hands, will wed Azul, the man chosen to be her husband. Here is Albia. loving people. Tell that to the world of our brothers, a people wishing to live in peace with all, with the protection of Atlas. But leave us to ourselves, and provoke not the wrath of our gods. Is she someone more important than me? You must say it. I have a score to settle with Fatma. They've turned the force field back on, but Fatima's safe. Only you and I know the secret of Atlantis. There's a way of sinking the entire city under the desert so that no one will ever uncover it. Over here.
You just get my friends through customs. Those friends. With your system, there shouldn't be any trouble. Well? Is the weather improving? It's clearing. Are you Mr. George Steele? Yes. I'm from the RIU. Three gentlemen are waiting to see you. Thanks. It just could change back again. <laughs> 